together again once this evening to give closure. We had a very wonderful, exciting day, time filled in the Word of God, talking to people that have come back from years ago. That was excellent to see them again. And we now are in the presence of the Lord. Fill this place, we pray. As we close with Psalms 122, and we also want to encourage you that we understand that we must come and that the people of his generation that would be the Messiah, we are those people in this day. So I invite you to share with me this evening. Hallelujah. I invite you to come along for this experience. Where are your treasures? And Father, we just thank you that we're depositing. We want to be overflowed and we want to have our space filled tonight. Let your glory Face to Face Radio by way of Big Tree Generation Blossoming Amazing Grace Outreach Ministry. I am Pastor E. people of God where our prayer life is here in the great Pacific Northwest these are the homes these are the homes we guardianship over prayer divine anointing we always want to lift the people of God in our neighborhood our neighbors need prayer our neighbors need look at there look at there I feel the power of Yahweh already moving up on the land not by might not by power but by your spirit so i just want to make sure that all that are joining realize that we're not alone that we have a calling on our life to pray ye for one another all right so let's begin with the opening scripture that we have is 122 psalms 122 we're going to pause the music and we do not own the rights to the music. The music is um, inspirational and promotional. Blessings to the ones that have created these beautiful uh, songs. Psalms 122. A song of ascent by David. I rejoice when they said to me, Let us go to the house of Hashem. Immobile stood our feet within your gates, O Jerusalem. The build up Jerusalem is like a city that is united together. For there the tribes ascended, the tribes of God, who are a testimony for Israel, to give thanks to the name of Hashem. For there sat thrones of judgment, thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Those who love you will be serene. May there be peace within your well and your wall, serenity within your palaces for the sake of my brethren and my comrades. I shall speak of peace in your midst for 
the sake of the house of Hashem, our God, I will request good for you. Amen. Amen. May God add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his precious word. And so we're going to, first of all, before we get into the lesson, I'm going to turn more light on so you all may be able to. Yes, that's much better. We're going to talk about one uh, Psalms 122 and Psalms 121 first, because there's a lot of beautiful um, meaning about these psalms that were sung by David, and it has so much, so much to offer. I want to make sure I can see. There we go. We can see really good. I'm going to start with 121, which we did earlier today. Amen. So it says to um, a song of ascent. This song differs from all others in the series because it is not called a song, a sit, but it is dedicated the, a sense and describes the mean, means whereby Israel f finds the strength to attain godly principles, godly heights, and ascend to his glorious presence. So Hashem will protect you from every evil, both physical and spiritual. Hashem will guard your departure and your arrival. I love that in that lesson that we had earlier. Now we have a sequence of same uh, titles sometimes. You might find that it'll be uh, maybe some of the things that come and they have a little bit more and a little bit more kind of added along the way. So I appreciate you if you would please take time to um, listen to the lessons, interact, and also make sure you subscribe to each one of the stations. Amen. The Holy Spirit has been so good to us. And we had um, a, a TV program uh, a while back called CCTV. So you will all find, also find some of the teachings and TV programs from maybe about seven to 10 years back that are produced. And the, and I am definitely a, a advocate for making sure we study the word of God. So that's one of the giftings that you will be able to appreciate at this time in your life. Also, I'm encouraged to always keep uh, good music, healthy music going in the, in the uh, sessions because I believe that worship is the key to opening a door for you to be edified and continue to be strengthened in the things of Yahweh, our Elohim. So now as we go farther along, as so many things I could really tell you about that you will find out for yourself, but I'd rather for you to go through some of the lessons and kind of give me some feedback. I'm always open to improvement and this is very new. So we're not, we're not trying to be the state of the art, uh, trying to know everything. We just want to fellowship and get some of the knowledge and teachings that Yahshua HaMashiach, the Jesus that you love, the Jesus that you have uh, had come to be your personal savior. I want us to fellowship around the learning of the root and the branches. So there's, there's expanded goals all over the universe for the purpose of our ministry, Amazing Grace Outreach Ministries. Face-to-face -face radio is a advertising and you can also book us to do interviews if you have a new book. If you even have a new business and you want us to, you know, show a feature even to get you connected to um, maybe a higher level of marketing, we can do that. We can help you with that. So back to giving you um, these particular uh, insights on the Psalms. Now, there's a time called Omer. Omer is when we read these Psalms, and Ascent is a beautiful way to express the love that's in the Psalms. Up on your departure and your arrival from the house of Torah study in order to pursue your business affairs. Isn't that beautiful? That right there. I'm going to um, probably have to start the series again about Torah because Torah is being introduced to so many of the people of God and they're excited. I'm getting so many very wonderful uh, interactions and experiences that people are having with studying the word of God, including Torah. 
Amen. So the order of pursue your business affairs, God will guard you. He will continue to do until your arrival back to the house of Torah. See there, come on back home, people of God. Furthermore, Hashem will supervise the departure of Israel from exile, and he will assure Israel's arrival in the Holy Land. He said he'd do it, and he will be found doing it. Amen. So Psalms 122, which we had this evening, it states that this psalm describes Jerusalem, a city where the individual experiences a personal encounter with holiness. No matter how many pilgrims come, each feel a sense of worth and elevation. I know I'm a living witness that that is my experience years ago, and it's still every day is re, uh, re, uh, uh, united back to that same understanding that it's you really found that place of immu immunity. You found uh, a place that's like none other. And I would pray that those that would take time to hear the word of God would be, be able to understand how much this is important to your walk. A Song of Ascent by David. David composed this uh, song with the intention that it, it be recited in the temple after it was built. Others maintain that the psalm refers specifically to the reconstruction of the third temple, which I call Exodus 3 with my hashtag, if you should happen to see that, and will be built through the efforts of the Messiah and the Sion of David. The build up Jerusalem. David foresaw that the son of Solomon, his son Solomon, would build up the spiritual nature of Jerusalem by constructing its most imposing edifice, the temple. There, the Shekinah glory, divine presence, would uh, dwell in the holy city. Well, we talked about the temple this morning for our prayer time. Man, it told us about how the me prayers stop being just the me prayer, but they become functional. They become where you know who you are, you know who you belong to, because the true you, no matter how you try to have an obligation prayer to, you know, to hang in there, but you can only get, go so far asking for stuff. That's what they wanted you to know. It's got to do with you wanting to understand what you want and desire. And that's when your prayers get answered for what you need. Because most time we start off giving a laundry list of what we need, what we think we need, and we find out that it's really in the want is where it begins. You got to have a desire and a purpose. Amen. And the function of the purpose causes the, the need to manifest. Hallelujah. So here we go. We are going to see the thrones of the house of David. The seat of David's kingdom was in Jerusalem, the capital city. Amen. So that's going to be as much as we're going to cover in terms of talking about the, the Psalms before we introduce the lesson. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. This is an exhortation to the monarch who sits at the thrones of the house of David. Whenever you offer supplication to God, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The Jews in exile exclaim, pray to God for the peace of Jerusalem. Permanent peace will come to the world only when the ingathering of the exiles from the four corners of the earth. Until then, Jerusalem will never experience true peace because many nations will war over the city, over this particular city. The exiled Jews, those who love her, mourn over the destruction of Jerusalem and pine to see her glory renewed. Amen. For the sake of the house of Hashem, our God, I will request good for you. More than the Jews and Jer uh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem needs the Jews. Okay, what value is the holy city and the house of Hashem if there are no people to absorb their sacred spirit? God's spirit dwells only where there are people who will benefit from his presence. Isn't that powerful? 
my, my. So we're going to stop right there. Who will benefit from his presence. And I pray that this word we're going to speak of will be a very big elevation for you. And you would benefit from his presence. Now, right now, as we're going forth, we talked about two things that I said we were going to kind of go through. We're not going to really get deep because it's late in the evening. And I'm sure you have to retire and get ready for your next day. And we don't want to be holding you up. So Jesus and his people in his generation. Okay, we're going to start right there. And then we're going to kind of close out with Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49 is so perfect for those that are learning the uh, root and the branch. This is a perfect chapter that you might want to use. Amen. So here goes. Contemporary man is remarkably blind, irrational, and high susceptible to the conditions of his culture. The institutions of his society are desperately influencing him to conclude that religious belief is superstition. Man, have we said that if you listen to any of my feeds, you're going to know that we've been saying that for some time now. Let me see if we can close.